Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha and today we have a little bit of a questionable video that I just wanted to sit down and talk about. This video is about why I am not a public figure. So before we dive right into this hot topic, let me just say that my intentions with this video are certainly not to offend or to criticize anybody out there who possibly does identify themselves as a public figure. I'm just explaining why I personally don't identify myself as a public figure. So let me just start off by reading the definition, which I just typed public figure definition into Google, and this is what came out. So, <laughs> a public figure, either a public official or any other person pervasively involved in public affairs or a limited purpose public figure, meaning those who have thrust themselves to the forefront of particular public controversies in order to influence the resolution of the issues involved. And that's actually from Wikipedia, so there's that. By definition, technically, yes, I guess I am a public figure, but eh, you know, in our culture, um, we have taken this term to actually mean something more than just a person who is visible to lots of people or whatever. I think now we think of public figures of famous, celebrity, well-known people who have lots of followings through social media and who have a very strong and um, influencing platform, which, like I said, again, by definition, yeah, that is what a public figure is. I think in the Christian community, it has become kind of a, what would that word be? like a virus where everybody wants to be a public figure and everybody wants to be somebody. But I've just been thinking about it a lot and this is just how I feel about it and I feel like I can share it and why not share it, you know? So I'm gonna share three reasons why I'm not a public figure. And the first one is that God didn't call me to be a public figure. He actually called me to be a leader of my generation. And that may mean many different things and God is obviously going to show me that through many different ways, but one of the ways he has definitely shown me it is not is through being a public figure. And I don't know if that makes sense, but being a public figure and being a leader of my generation, I feel like are two very distinct things and they're not the same. God doesn't see me as a public figure, he sees me as a leader of my generation. Which kind of brings me to the second thing. Um, when I put my focus on a secular label, I'm obviously going to lose sight on what God has created me to be. I think it's kind of ridiculous for me to say, oh, well, I'm a public figure just because I do, you know, these YouTube videos or because of my social media accounts. For me, I feel like there's so much more important things in my personal life than my social media. So when I put focus on who I am on social media and who I want other people to perceive me as, then I'm losing focus on who I actually want people to know me as. Because for me, it's like, I want people to see Christ through me. And if I'm too worried of them to see me as a public figure, then they're going to see me as a public figure and they're not going to see me as a Christ follower. So the third reason is I don't want to be recognized or seen as just a public figure. I want to be known by my faith, by the fruits of the Spirit, 
by my calling, my talents, and the gifts that God has given me. And I'm not just saying through my social media because I know you guys as my followers who do watch these videos know me just through my social media. But people who actually know me in my real life, they know all of the things that I do to serve Christ and that I do um, in my relationship with Christ. And they know me for the fruits that I do in real life and not just sitting in front of a camera and doing YouTube and stuff like that. I want to be known by my fruits, not by my followers, not by what I do online, not by my social media, but by my actual fruits. So that's why I don't like classifying myself as a public figure because to me it's not about that. Which kind of brings me to the last thing. I'm not trying to be famous. Let's just get that clear. For me, this has always been a hobby. I do it for fun. I do it on the side. I do it when I can. For some reason, God has entrusted me to do this and I don't think it was so that I could become famous or so that I could become a public figure or an influencer. I I'm not a public figure, I'm a believer in Christ, and I'm your sister in Christ. And that's what I want you guys to know, that's what I want you guys to take away. If you guys reach out to me on social media or whatever, I'm going to respond as your sister in Christ because that's who I am. We're all created equal, and I don't see myself as better if I have more subscribers than you, and I don't see myself less than you if I have less subscribers than you. I think we're all equal in Christ and I feel like we need to start treating each other like that on social media because we are representatives of Christ and we shouldn't be competing against each other. We should be supporting each other. So I've talked about a lot of different things and a lot of people are probably heated towards me now, but I feel like God has created all of us to be more than just a public figure. And if you have a different perspective, I would love to learn more about why you support public figures or why you think it's okay or whatever. Like I said, I'm not saying that all public figures are bad or that the whole idea behind it is bad. I just feel like it's taken a different, like, it has negative associations and I don't want to be involved in that. I'm staying as far away as that as possible and staying as close as possible to what my actual calling is and what God is actually trying to do through my life. So I hope that made sense. In my head it does and I pray that this message or this video does make sense to you guys. Again, I don't try to offend people on my channel. I'm just explaining my perspective and I hope that you respect my perspective the way that I'm going to also respect your perspective. I'm just like you. I'm a believer in Christ. I'm your sister in Christ. No matter how many followers we have. Um, and that's it. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again with an all-new video next time. Bye!